the study. They were coming from trial. The snake died. Why? Why would they kill it? Why would they kill it? Eh? Why would they kill it? Why would they kill it? Hmm? Do you know what they have caused right now? They have stopped our oppression. That means we can't do anything again. Eh? They are weakening us. That means we can't do anything. We are powerless. We are powerless. We are powerless. Eh? Why did they kill that snake yesterday? Why did they kill that snake yesterday? Snake. Yes, the python that appeared to her mother last night. Why did they kill it? Were they supposed to kill it? Eh? Why don't you want them to kill the snake? Because they are supposed to work. Work for who? They are supposed to work for the family. And they killed it. Why? Because she, they knew she was coming here. Okay. They knew she was coming here. What is this new water doing to you? Why don't you want this new water? Please don't come near to me with that water. Why don't you want to, yes, to use this new water in the name of Jesus? The water is disturbing us. Please, How it's is disturbing it us. You from heaven disturbing you. It's disturbing us. It's disturbing us. It's disturbing us. It's disturbing us. Please leave me. I want to go. I want to go. They all want to go. They have killed our grandfather, grand grandfather. I want to go. They killed him last night. I want to go. I want to go. I want to go. Please leave me. I want to go. Let me leave this family alone. Yes, the snake you talk about, where is that snake from? It's from her father's compound. From that compound. It's from her father's compound. What? Her father's father served that snake. What is the mission of that snake? It's to kill and destroy. To stop them from moving forward. Destroy who? To stop the family from moving forward. So that is why this leg, I've held this leg from moving forward. Why don't you want her to be promoted? Why don't you want her to move forward? Why, why would she move forward? Why? why don't you want her to move forward? Speak. Why? Why would she move forward? Explain. Why don't you want her to move because forward? Because she belongs to us. She belongs to us. Can't you hear me? She belongs to us. Now you have killed our grand grandfather. That means we have to let her go. Let her go. Okay. Now who are you in this body? Who are you in this body? In the name of Jesus. Speak. You want to know? Jesus hmm. wants to know. Hmm. I'm the python in her father's compound. Hmm. 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 You've rendered her powerless. The ground is hot here. Please leave me. I want to go. I want to go. You have killed our people last night. I want to go. I want to go. Why did this girl come to this place? Why did she come to this place? Who even brought her here? I want to know. Who brought her to this okay, place? What, okay, what is in this place? I don't want her to come to this place. Yes, because I knew her coming to this place. We set her free. Very soon I should deliver safe. Eh? 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 Why? 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 Why don't you want why? her to move forward? Why don't you want her to be promoted? And why don't you want her to deliver this baby? <laughs> that is our mission, to stop. To stop progress. That is our mission, to stop progress. <laughs> why don't you want her to deliver this baby? <laughs> this snake. How long have this snake been living with this baby? For years. It has How been years? for years. It has tied everybody in the family. Who is the person setting that lady free? She keeps praying, God of T.B. Joshua, God of wise man Daniel, every time, calling these two names, calling these two names, calling these two names. Uh-uh, uh-uh, why is she disturbing us? Every day, every day, God of T.B. Joshua, God of wise man Daniel, wise man Daniel, wise man Daniel, wise man Daniel, who is she? Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. What is the God of wise man Daniel doing to you? It's disturbing us. How is it disturbing you? It is disturbing us. Please. How is it disturbing you? It is disturbing us. Is she supposed to be? Is she supposed to be pregnant? Even this one, she even got pregnant. She's not supposed to be, be pregnant herself. I wanted to make her barren. I wanted to make her barren. She escaped it. Eh? She escaped it. All this money water sticker disturbing us everywhere. Everywhere disturbing us. Okay, who are you in this body? Who are you that doesn't want the stickers with you and the prayers in this body? Who? Explain in the name of Jesus. I've told you I'm from the father's compound. I'm from the father's compound. Why will you be asking me? Eh? Why will you be asking Jesus me? Wants to Why will you be asking me? I'm from her father's compound. I've tormented this family for years. Why? 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 Okay, now that she's pregnant, what do you want to do to this baby? I wanted to make her deliver through operation. But now they have killed her grand grandfather. She's free now. What she's is, free. We can't do anything. We're powerless. Eh? Now her coming to this place have set everybody free now. Why? 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 I was telling her to go back home. 
I was telling her to go back home. Since, since the, the, the man of God is not around, I told her to go back. I told her to go back. I had carry your bag and go. Carry your bag and go since he's not around. But I don't know how this, this water just touched her. And I keep telling her to go, 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 go. Live here, live here, live here. And she stayed behind. Very stubborn girl. Okay, well, go in the name of Jesus. Out! Out! Out in the name of Jesus Christ. Out in the name of Jesus Christ. Fire all over your body. Fire all over your body. Out in the name of Jesus Christ. Out in the name of Jesus Christ. Out in the name of Jesus Christ. Out of this body. Darkness has no hiding place in the face of light. Only Christ can reveal such deep secrets. Thank you, Jesus, for her freedom. Thank you, Jesus. You are free through the medium of the dew from heaven. Rise up. You are free in the name of Jesus. Thank you, 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 Lord. Sister, you are free. Through the medium of the dew from heaven, you are set free. As your family is set free in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. To God be the glory. Let us put our hands together beautifully for the King of glory. That clap is not enough for Jesus. Put your hands together for the King of glory. Indeed. Indeed, our sisters was, deli was delivered through the medium of the dew from heaven. Viewers all over the world, it is not normal for a normal human being to be saying he's responsible for this. He used to see snake. He don't want her to give birth. He, don't wa he want to kill the woman. He want to kill the family. It is not normal for a normal human being to say that. But we should know that it was the demon that was inside of her that was making all of those uh, negative confessions that want to kill the family and destroy the family. It is not the woman herself, but the demon in her that was responsible for that. And by the special grace of God, God Almighty used the medium of the dew from heaven to disconnect her from that evil spirit that don't want her to move forward, that don't want her to give birth, that don't want the family to be blessed. So right now, let us sit back and let us watch the screen of our television how she came with uh, the issue of safe delivery. And it is through this same uh, medium of the dew from heaven that was administered on her that she delivered safely. So let us watch the screen of our television how she came here with the issue of safe delivery. <laughs>
shirt in Jesus Christ name. Congratulations. Thank you Jesus. I'm free. Thank you Jesus. God be the glory. Let us put on together beautifully for the King of glory. They are right here in our midst with their bouncing baby. Let us put on together for Jesus Christ. Indeed, our God is good, and all the time our God is good. All this happened through the medium of the dew from heaven and the amazing power of prayer points. So let us listen to them. But I welcome you to the Everlasting Light of Hope International Ministry. Please tell us your name, introduce the people standing next to you, and your beautiful testimony. Elohim. Elohim. Good morning, church. My name is Mabel Okudiri Anokuru. The person seated next to me is my lovely mom. And the person next to her is my lovely husband. And the two people standing next to him are my younger brothers. It all started um, the day I visited the prayer ground here. On that fateful Sunday, I was supposed to go back home because I felt the man of God was not around, just like today. So that day, I was hearing a voice inside of me, carry your bag and go home. Since the man of God is not around, what are you waiting for? Uh -uh. Just carry your bag and go home. So another voice said, no, stay back. Maybe something will happen. Stay back. So I started meditating inside of me. While I was meditating inside of me, a voice came to me and said, stay back, don't go. So immediately they started ministering the dew from heaven. Immediately the water came close to me. All of a sudden, I observed a certain shock from my right leg. And I didn't even, uh, most times at night, if I'm sleeping, my right leg is always weak, middle of the night. Anything from 12, 12, 1, I'll notice my right leg is always very weak. So, before I know it, immediately the water came close to me. My leg started vibrating, vibrating very seriously. I started feeling as if something is about to leave the leg. After that dew from heaven was being ministered, I went back home. I was, before I used to have nightmares, seeing snakes in the dream, seeing a man making love to me in the dream. But since that day till date, all those nightmares stopped. I started having... Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. That clap is not enough. Put your hands together for the miracle working God. Even in my business, because I, I'm also working and also I have a business. I have a clothing shop. I also observed changes in my business. Before, sales was very, very poor. In a week, I hardly see good sales. But to my greatest surprise, every day, sales, I've been ex experiencing good sales every day. Before, some days will pass, nothing. You know, when you have a shop and then not, you're operating the shop and nothing is happening in the shop, you'll be like, ah, ah, what's happening? Is it that this is normal or is the, the, environment, the, the, the environment is very not friendly? It's not friendly for maybe people don't have money and all that. But this one... I experienced changes right from that day of that water being ministered on me, the dew from heaven. This water I'm holding, the dew from heaven, right from that day, I experienced changes. But even at work, my performance and all that, I knew that God has taken charge, truly. So that day, I, I heard, because when I got back home, I watched that video clip on, on the Facebook of Wiseman Daniel. I went back, I said, let me watch this video and listen to this uh, manifestation clearly. I was listening where the, whole, uh, the, the, the evil spirit was saying that I must give birth through operation, not knowing that truly, so this thing is what the evil spirit is saying. Since that day, 
I held on to my faith and said, this baby, I must put to bed safely like a Hebrew woman. I held on to that faith. So when it was time for me to put to bed, we went to the first, first hospital, the first doctor, and he's a professional doctor, as in his status is, is a very high status. That is, the hospital itself, if I mention the name, but I don't mention name we tell, it's a hospital, if you refer anybody there, if he tells you anything final, it's final. So to my greatest surprise, when I got there, the doctor said, Madam, no, this baby has passed the due date that you're going to put to bed through CS. I rebuked it inside of me. I said, no, I will not put to bed through CS. So before I know it, the doctor said, Madam, I'm sorry, I can't handle this case. This baby will come, come out through CS. So I and my husband were weak, and that's the hospital I gave birth to my first baby. I was like, ah, why again? What's happening? No, devil is a liar. I know the God I serve. The God of wise man, Daniel, so long as I visited this place, I will never give birth through operation. It must be normal delivery, because if I give birth through operation, that means the spirit has defeated me. I said, no. I held on to my faith, went to the second hospital the next day. The doctor also insisted and said, madam, this case is 50-50. If you put to bed safely, fine. But to me, I would advise you put to bed through CS. My husband looked at me and I looked at myself. We both, <laughs> we looked at each other. I said, this doctor does not want to know what he's saying because I know the anointing I carry inside of me. I know the, the, the spirit, the Holy Spirit, the Jew from heaven and all this um, amazing power of prayer points I'm carrying. I know the bullets I'm carrying here. So inside of me, I said, this man does not know what to say. Before even I'm going to put to bed, before this man will even know it. So before I know it, the husband called my husband, uh, the doctor called my husband aside and said, Oga, okay, what do you see in this case? Talk. I was talking, the man said, Madam, shut up. Keep quiet. Let me speak to your husband. My husband now said, Oga, okay, I have faith that my wife will put to bed in a safe way. And it's, she's going to put to bed like a Hebrew woman without CS. The husband just looked at us. I think that him got him angry. He left. So while the labor started, I was inside. I was praying, praying, praying. I took my tools that, the, that was given to me from this powerful Elohim ministry. I started praying. You, mean, started you praying. mean the faith tools? Yes, the faith tools. The faith tools. I started reciting Psalm 51 and then Lord Jesus Christ, forgive me my sins. You know, I started praying, 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 praying. While I was praying, the labor keeps increasing, increasing, increasing. I ministered the anointing, the, 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 the Jew from heaven on my tummy. I held on to the sticker too. I, I kept the sticker on my tummy. I was praying, praying. I said, God of Elohim, don't give me shame. I serve a great God. The God that says yes, where no man says no. I know that I'll put to bed, I'll put to bed like a Hebrew woman. Before I know it, after the doctor checked me, they brought something and they were putting on my tummy. They said, ah, maybe, uh, Madam, this baby's BP is dropping. You, know. you better accept this yes. Accept this yes. They were just instigating fear, putting fear in me, making me to be scared. As in, at a point, I was like, is it that I'm going to put my faith said, no, don't, don't accept that. Don't accept that. So I head on to, you know, you know, most times there's something I observe through this delivery. Most doctors who want to put fear inside of you for you to give in and said, okay, I'm ready for the CS. Before I know it, doctor said he will come back by eight. Before that eight, doctor will come back. I've put to bed. Wow. That club is not enough. Put your hands together for Jesus. Madam, well, please, we would like to ask you, at that moment, when the doctor says you are going to undergo CS, how do you feel at that moment? I felt down, but my faith was still very strong. You know, when you know the God you serve, oh, the God of Elohim, you, when you know the anointing you carry, of course, you will have faith. Your faith cannot be down, except you don't have faith. Except it's only the person that does not have faith, who, who, whose faith, after being, haven't been uh, promised that, ah, madam, you put to bed seriously, and yes. then you give in to that, to that word. That means <laughs> Satan has defeated. So, and at the moment when the doctor told you that the BP of your, your baby is dropping, how was your faith then? Ha. 
my faith started increasing to have more faith again. The faith, let's say if the faith was 99, it started, it, the thing tripled. I wow. said, okay. In fact, I carried my tools. I started praying again. While I was in pain, though, I was opening the Bible, reading Psalm 51. I started reading, ministry in the water, all over, left, right, center. All of a sudden, my husband said, can you sneak in? These people have come out of the labor room because my, my husband was in the hospital with me. He said, they have come out of the labor room. Can you just sneak in there and go and minister this water on that bed? I entered there. I ministered it on the labor room, on the bed. I said, my next visitation to this bed, I must put to bed safely. And so it happened. Before I enter, the baby... Hallelujah. Let us put our one together beautifully for the King of Glory. That clap is not enough for Jesus. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. With faith, I said, I opened the water. I said, I pray in ministry. I said, Oh God of wise man, Daniel, the God that says yes, where somebody says no. They said, I'm going to put to bed through tears, but I rebuke it by the blood of Jesus. I said, I pray and I said, I am going to put to bed my visitation, next visitation to lie down on this bed. I'll put to bed like a Hebrew woman. As I was ministering in Munise, the labor came increasing, started increasing, started increasing. So before I know it, they now. The second doctor now came in and called me. So inside me, I was like, ah, I thought he's the first doctor. I started asking them, where is the other doctor now? Because the first doctor sounded so interested as if he was going to be the one to take charge of my um, delivery. So I, I just entered. And I saw uh, ladies around me. I didn't see the male doctor. If I'm inside my heart, I was like, ah, is it that they want to check me again? I never knew that that moment the baby was going to come out. To my greatest surprise, I just heard, yeah, yeah, the baby is out. Wow. <laughs> Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. <laughs> and all of this happened after you make use of the amazing power of prayer point and you minister the dew from heaven. Yes, yes. Let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. <laughs> wow. We thank God for this wonderful transformation. Can you please tell us what can you say about this amazing power of prayer points and this dew from heaven that does this wonder? In fact, uh, the dew from heaven, I, I, I discovered that uh, God is really present here. It's only when somebody does not have faith and doesn't believe. When you come, you look at things happen, you say, Abi, it's drama that is happening here. Not knowing that God is at work. When you're here, meditate. As the man of God is not around today. In fact, the day I came for safe delivery, I observed the man of God was not around that day. I was like, ha-ha, man of God is not around today. First day too, he was not around. Second day now I came for safe delivery, he's not around. Inside of me, I said, ah, what's happening? And I remember that first day that I came, the minister that water on me. That was when I knew that God has located me. That this water is a very powerful water. The amazing power of prayer point, if you have it, Hold on to it. Keep praying morning and night. Don't cease praying from it because the power in this faith tools, you can never understand it. It's only someone that has little faith that will begin to doubt, to say, is it this ordinary paper? But what you're carrying is a powerful tool, faith tool. Hallelujah. Let's put on together for Jesus Christ. So it was the evangelist, the man of God sent to administer the dew from heaven on every one of us and the amazing power of prayer points that have done this miracle in your life. In fact, there's something that I remembered. While I was in the labor room, the other doctor from the, the first hospital I gave birth, the wife of the doctor now called my husband. My husband now showed me that the wife is calling you. I told him, don't pick that call. Don't pick that call. Because that period I was in labor. I said, don't pick that call. Her next call, you return to her, is that I have put to bed safely. To her greatest surprise, after my, I put to bed, my husband now called. I said, sorry, oh, why that period you were calling me, I was in the delivery room with my wife. She now said, ah, delivery room? She was surprised. My husband now said, my wife has put to bed oh, safely. She said, ah, which hospital? She paused and said, ah, which hospital? He mentioned the name of the hospital. She was so surprised. She was amazed. Like, how? How? How did this happen? That's what her husband said. It was never possible. But to the glory of God, it was possible with God. Indeed. What is not possible for man is possible for God. Let's put on together for Jesus Christ. Wow. With what God Almighty have done for you, 
by using the medium of the amazing power of prayer points and the dew from heaven to carry out this wonderful miracle in your life. What is your word of advice for viewers watching all over the world who are passing through the same similar situation like you have been delivered from? My advice to the viewers all over the world and those present here, our advice that please, whenever you're especially where God is using his servant to do great works, great miracles, you have to engage in meditation. Don't be distracted, especially when you're in service. Don't be distracted. Just keep focusing and keep meditating and have faith. Whatever faith tools they give you, use it well. Use it well. It is not until you see the man of God before the miracle will happen. The man of God might be absent, but before you know it, that prayer you've been longing for, that prayers will be answered. So please, viewers all over the world, have faith. If you're in my condition, you're about to put to bed, have faith, key into that prayer. Key into this prayer, keep meditating, praying, use your faith tools, and you'll see the glory of God will manifest in your life. Amen. Indeed, faith pleases God. So quickly listen to one or two words from your husband. We believe he was there when all this um, issue was going on. Let us hear one or two words from him. Elohim. Church, good morning. My name is Chile Anokuro. The person next to me here is my amazing wife, the prophetic wife of my life. And the next person close to my wife is my in law, mother in law. And the other guys next to my mother in law are my in laws. So I really want to thank God for his mercies, blessings, abundant grace. Uh, man of God was Matt Daniel. I could remember vividly last time we came. He, he just gave me a few prophecies, told me that throughout this year, I will definitely come across uh, blessings, testimonies. So it is not new to me. Even though we had a bit, uh, you know, little challenges at the hospital, uh, the hospital that I was supposed to give birth to, my wife was supposed to give birth to, was uh, a very big, a very notable hospital here in Abuja that I feel that because of the, my past, I said I was going to be using that hospital, no matter the amount. Very expensive hospital, but we conquered the first one. So when we went for the second one, it was more like a turn off for us, but we managed the situation with faith. Because we had faith, my wife happens to be this person that is very, very faithful to her faith. Whenever she decides, you can't take it. Because I could remember when the doctor said, okay, it's 50-50. The only thing I told the man that whenever my wife mentioned these two men, God of Sinon Prophet B. Joshua, God of wise man Daniel, I don't say anything again. I just leave her. I follow the faith. Once she says so, I don't argue anything. Because I'm in the faith already, so I, I agreed. The doctor was surprised, so he left. He gave us 8 p.m. for coming. At the end of the day, he, he didn't come because when he checked, it was, the womb was not open. It was after uh, ministration that my wife called, and, and the nurse not told my wife that it was, I think they have a language for it, four points or so. So I knew something better was going to happen. So, and I went there to see what they are going to use on my wife. So I saw their tools. The gas oxygen for their own CS. Yes. Not my portion. Okay. And I told my wife, I could remember as well, I told my wife to drink the morning water, to drink the uh, heavenly water, the dew of heaven. You mean the, the, the dew from heaven? That it will, bring, it will supplement for water because I could remember that drama. <laughs> Let us put on together for Jesus Christ. Indeed, our brother faith here is very, very strong. Please continue. So it was really annoying because at a point, you know, I'd be in a private hospital. I was checking their computer. They would be telling you that the water is not here. Water is not here. I'd be like, all oh, this water, water, water. Okay. I told her, drink the water. She manifested the water. You know, she drank. I came back again. They were like, okay, the BP of the child is going. I said, what? You know, inside myself, I was like, the child is not thinking anything. What is a BP? The whole thing is, uh, the heart is, is, is beating fast. It's dropping. Ah. This child is not thinking anything other than just coming out. You know, I went back inside. 
I now took my other baby here to, to meet with my wife. We, you know, we spoke to the stomach, say you, you will come out. For and I went to the uh, where she will give birth to, and I, I came back to tell her to minister the water and the bed. That was all. The next was I should call my wife needs my attention. So I came. Even as at uh, the labor uh, moment, she was still holding that sticker. Please, if you have this sticker, church, hold on to it. Hallelujah. Let us put our hands together for Jesus Christ. Our brother is ready to talk from now to tomorrow because of the joy in his heart. But because of time, please tell us, with what God Almighty you have done in the life of your family, what can you say about the amazing power of prayer point and the wonderful dew from heaven you receive? But I think both the, the amazing power of prayer points and the dew from heaven has been so immensely uh, great upon my family. And I also, uh, you know, when I use it sometimes, I, I say some things to people. And now, I'm beginning to receive advice from, from few friends that their wives are pregnant. That, okay, how do we go about this? Sometimes when I tell them, okay, just go and pray. And sometimes I just tell them the Bible verses that we are used to in the house. 51, Psalm 51 and 1 to 1. They'll be like, okay, just do it. But, but, but as, as at a few days ago, few of my friends have called for, for advice. And it has been amazing. So I thank God of uh, Elohim for blessing my family and Hallelujah. for making everything work. Let us put it on together for Jesus Christ. <laughs> Indeed, our brother have a whole lot of testimonies. Let us quickly hear one or two words from the mother. Elohim. Please, church, share with us. Elohim. Mighty God lives in us. This is the second synagogue church of the whole world. Please. Please, if you are here, bear in mind that you are with Chibi Joftia in Lagos. This is the product of, this is the product of TB Joshua, wise man Daniel. I was in Jos. They told me that my daughter is in labor. Now I to ask them, what do they do? She didn't tell me self because of fearing. I said, please, you will deliver safe and son. I started my prayer with this. I went to Jesus. I have in Mama, my house. Mama, you mean the amazing power of prayer points? Yes, this amazing dew, power of prayer. And the dew from heaven. Yes. I called Wasman Daniel. His picture is in my house. I say, as he delivered others, appear to my daughter. They told me that the doctor, the doctor mentioned oppression. I say, Holy Ghost fire. Now, I say, let them minister the uh, morning water. Do the prayers. He didn't reach how many hours self. My son called me that my daughter has delivered. Praise wow. the Hallelujah. Let us put on together for Jesus Christ. <laughs> Mama is so excited for what God Almighty have done in the life of our family. Let us quickly listen to the brother. Let's hear what they have to say concerning this wonderful transform transformation in their home. Brother, we welcome you today. Please tell us what can you say about this wonderful transformation that God Almighty have done in the life of your family. Elohim. I want to appreciate God for this moment today. To appear here again this day. I know it is the Lord's doing. I want to thank God for the life of my sister and everyone here. Um, my name is Edwin Wanchuku. And um, this is my sister, my mom, my in-law, and my senior brother. I really appreciate God because um, on that day when this thing started, she just came to me immediately from the hospital and she told me. Then I, I asked her, I said, who said so? She said, the doctor. I said, but that's not the voice of God. I said, so disregard it. Then my spirit told me, this baby needs you to be there before she'll be delivered. So what I did is I left all what I was doing, me and my brother, then went to the hospital. When I got home before going, I asked myself, I say, what are you going with? Then I took the dew from heaven. I knelt down with the amazing power of prayer points. I say, oh God of wise man Daniel, I believe in you. 
deliver my sister from family cause. Have mercy on her and help her today. Then I left. Immediately I got to the hospital. Then I saw my in-law and I greeted him. I walked inside the hospital, me and my brother. Then I knelt down inside there. Then I prayed. I said, oh God of wise man Daniel, I am here today. I am nothing before you. Have mercy on me. As I pray, let this prayer be answered. Then I prayed there. I ministered it on her. Then it was not up to 10 minutes. Then she just delivered. So God be the glory. Indeed, God Almighty have done this wonderful transformation in the life of your family. Let us quickly hear one or two words from your other brother to round it up. Welcome you, sir. Please tell us your name and briefly what can you say about this wonderful transformation in your family? Hello, him. My name is uh, Emmanuel Wachku. I'm here to testify for the great signs and wonders. The people beside me, this is my senior sister. This is my mommy. This is my in-law. And this is my brother. I just thank God for this great opportunity. What I experienced through this pregnancy, what my sister passed through in the hospital, God is going to have mercy on her. I said, okay, let me use this opportunity and pray because God is going to show mercy. So we keep praying, praying, praying. We'll continue praying. Along the line, the doctors came and asked us to leave. Okay, I follow the instruction. I say, okay, we'll, let's keep praying with me and my brother. We'll keep praying, having the faith. We'll keep building our faith along the line. To God be the glory. She was delivered a bouncing Amen. baby. Amen. To God be the glory. Let's put our hands together beautifully for the King of glory. Yes, to God be the glory. God have done it. So because of time, let us quickly listen to the woman in concern. But um, with what God Almighty have done for you and the life of your family, what is your promise to God Almighty? My promise to God is to serve him. I have my entire generation, from generation to generation, to serve him for the rest of our life. Amen. I will pray with you that God will give you the grace to continue to serve him all the rest of your life in Jesus' name. So please, we want to know what is the name of the baby and the sex of the baby? The baby is a female and her name is Alicia, meaning Hallelujah. double child. Let us put on together for Jesus Christ. With this wonderful blessings God Almighty have done in the life of this family, let us all rise to our feet as we dance to this wonderful blessing in the life of this family. Because it's always by your side. 